In Jesus' name, we know there is healing. In Jesus' name, we're no longer lacking. In Jesus' name, we're drawn into your embrace. I'm back. Welcome to another unboxing. Hi, my name is Jabs. It's time to open my Mother's Day haul gifts from my husband. Are you ready? I tend to fall in and out of love with Loxaton. And obviously, now I'm so in love with the brand again. Originally, yellow was my favorite color. Well, I was yellow for when I played Bioman and Power Rangers before. But the truth is, I love purple, gold, and silver, or anything actually. I missed opening a package from Luxton, and I'm so glad I'm back with this brand. Please stay tuned. After this unboxing video, I also included my TikTok video's first impression about these products. Of course, as expected, this haul will include Chanel beauty products. I just love how uncomplicated NARS is in terms of their products and quality and consistency just perfect in all honesty there are days when i feel like i don't want to post anymore and there are days when i feel like i don't want to vlog anymore but here i am doing my best still doing what i love the most despite the few views despite the few followers because at the end of the day i'm doing this for myself and i'm doing this all to give god the glory right before i end this video i just like to remind you that you will not have everything in one go god knows the perfect time the perfect gift we just have to wait and trust his process. I hope to see you at the next one. God bless you. Bye. The lipstick that I got from NARS, it's a lip pigment, and I'm still wearing it right now. Lalang kalat and ganun parin kita parin sa area na yan. It doesn't feel heavy. I'm going to be consistent about it. And I really love its texture and the way it's seen on my lips despite uh, drinking coffee and eating some snacks. Unless yata oily siya, hindi naman siya matatanggal. It doesn't bleed. Uh, I'm quite surprised na all along, hindi naman pala siya transfer proof or waterproof. But I remember kasi when I wore the uh, other lip pigment that I got, um, Nag-stay talaga siya ng sobrang tagal and hindi siya basta-basta natatanggal. That's why medyo nagulat ako to find out that it's not at all waterproof or transfer proof. But it is, it doesn't bleed. It's long wearing and full coverage. Let's try and see if it's actually transfer proof. Ayun na ba, may transfer talaga siya. But as you can see, I believe it's been less than an hour. Simula nung last na nag-post uh, ako and... Maganda pa rin yung kulay niya kahit na hindi siya transfer proof. Let's see again. Yeah, really not transfer proof, but still, the color pa rin siya. Um, I guess what I can say is that even though it's uh, not really transfer proof, uh, it's really long lasting. That's why hindi ko na-realize na all along hindi siya transfer proof. Actually, shook talaga ako na hindi siya transfer proof kasi parang hindi naman nag-transfer dun sa iba kong mga lipstick shades na ginamit. But overall, I'm really happy. I, lo I love the color. I've been looking for something like this for so long. People are saying it's supposed to be brown or chocolate brown. 
I'm seeing brown, mustard brown, and, and I don't have any filter right now. I'm using a different Rowan. But yeah, overall, I really, really love it. I always buy their eyeshadow primer, their eyeliner, uh, I believe their mascara, their lipsticks, but not really. Oh, also their bronzer. I love their bronzer, Laguna, but not their blush. There was one time when I got a sample, which is actually a GWP from NARS, and it, it was their blush, actually, and I happened to not like it. It did not stay long. Uh... That it is not pigmented, but I am giving it a try because this is a new batch. This is a new, uh, this is a new product, or technically not a new product, but uh, but it is uh, newly produced. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be better. So let's see and open it. This the shade is Exhibit A. I actually got it from one of the influencers I'm watching. I forgot the name, but I'm, I'm excited to try it out. Just so you know, it is not. This is their regular packaging, and it it is not that huge. I mean, compared to the ones I got from Dior, at least the, the original size. I guess Dior's size is already like this as well. Um, Chanel is quite bigger, I believe. But yeah, let's see. I'm excited at the same time, I'm scared that I will, you know, have acne or have a breakout from this blush. But I'm hoping for the best since the bronzer worked for me. So this is how it looks like. It comes with a mirror. We're going to use a contour brush. Dab, dab, dab. This is like an orange, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't have any glitter. So let's see. No filter. That My filter doesn't have any blush. So this is hopefully the color that... You really see the shade is just the same. Hmm, interesting. Oh my gosh. So, we natin yung filter para mas makita natin siya. And you can see my flaws. Wala. Okay, so kanina, naiwan tayo dun sa uh, fact or sa itsura na napaka-orangey niya. So, dinifuse ko lang yung color. Uh, to those who are asking how to pag nasa sobrahan ng lagay um, the reason why I use a contour brush, not a stippling brush or most of the time a kabuki brush is so it would be easier to um, control the color or to diffuse the color because I tend to over apply that's why I need something that would help me out in diffusing the color so most of the time I just dab 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 Most uh, one of the issues na we have is whenever we um, apply a blush we tend to do this which is I also do but then most of the time but whenever you know I remember that it's not that's not uh, the best way to apply a blush I then dab it which is the correct way of applying it so just dab 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 which I already did earlier okay so this one on this side it's not yet it's not that complete yet Though it could be perfect for others already. Let's add some more. Let's add one last, probably three dabs. Okay. So others are already saying that um, it could be the color is perfect to use to contour the face. I think I, 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 I can agree with that. But it would be nice to add more color, like add a real bronzer. Okay. So first is to spread the color and then that's the time we try to diffuse it because the more you swipe it the more it's gonna blend and the color might you know uh, be the color might wash wash out wash wash out instead of just staying on your cheeks and just be diffused so this is the perfect way and then on the nose, make sure that your brush is still intact, it's still perfect for contouring. If it's too old, then it's not. Do I like it? Yes, I do. So next item we're going to try out, or I'm going to share with you, is this uh, Chanel Rouge Allure Lac. So it's not a new product, but it's basically new for me. Uh, I believe this is my second. Oh, yeah, no, this is my third or probably fourth shade that I got. So, medyo familiar na kayo dapat. Dito. Okay. 
Let's see, this is how you open it. Oh, let's see. Wala tayong filter na lipstick. This is just a makeup filter. This is an applicator. This is softer than the NARS one that I shared with you. And also, um, this is parang thicker. The applicator niya. Hindi ito uh, waterproof or uh, transfer proof. It is it is a satin finish. Mm, very comfortable on the lips. The scent is hindi siya perfumey, pero kasi yung mocha na may kanting paint, parang very mac. And dami dami ko ng liquid lipsticks. And uh, probably in this shade as well. So, what do I like about this? Para siyang ang dami dami ko ng lacquer na lipstick, uh, especially the ones from MAC. And I'm really a fan. And hindi nga din siya, ano, hindi siya uh, transfer proof, but at least they last really long. And they're very pigmented. But one thing that differs MAC from NARS is that um, MAC is quite heavy to the point na nagpapatchy siya, sam siya sometimes. And um, long wearing naman sila pareho. Pero ito kasi nag-iiwan siya talaga ng glossy feature. The, yung MAC naman parang mas pigmented or mas 3D yung peg niya. Ito naman parang 3D din naman siya. Pero iba yung gloss na meron naman ito. I guess the main... Uh, difference of Chanel, this one, and MAC is the fact that it's very hydrating and comfortable on the lips compared to MAC, though they're both very pigmented. Um, it doesn't seem na mag chap or mag patchy yung MAC dahil sa sobrang bigat niya. But yeah, overall, it's really good. Pala tayo ng filter para mas makita nyo how glossy and 3D it is. And as you can see, it is very creamy, satiny, hot na. And the transfer talaga siya. The transfer talaga siya. Pero ayan pa rin yung color. Yeah. Next naman, ipapakita ko sa inyo ay itong Coco Mademoiselle Oil. I love oils. I collected a lot already. Some are from L'Occitane, some are from Clarins, some are from Dior. But, inubos ko na rin silang lahat eventually. And now, this is my second oil. And this is from the Coco Mademoiselle line. The first one was actually from uh, N5. This is Chanel. Okay, so, if you will ask me, anong ginagawa mo naman sa oil? Others are actually using it to hydrate their skin, to uh, to moisturize their skin. <laughs> but yeah, but really, um, yung iba kasi talaga ginagawa siya to hydrate the skin, to make it a bit, you know, oily, to to add a little bit of dimension sa legs nila or sa kanilang body. But others naman are adding a bit of shine. It depends if it has glitters and all. So I have an N5 oil which has glitters, but it doesn't really show, kaya wala rin sense whenever I use it. But I have some oils that are actually, you know, talagang glittery siya, paskita siya. But, if you will ask me, or others also pala, use it for, um, to add a powdery texture and to add a bit of smell na makakatulong para mas maging long-lasting yung amoy sa'yo. Like, for example, for the N5, it has an N5 scent. So, even though hindi siya talaga ganun ka-glittery, you can just add it and then the pabango or the perfume, the N5, and then yung skin mo will feel... Um, a bit hydrated, more hydrated than usual, then maybe you can add a lotion, papatong pat in layer layer mo siya, then add the N5 na babango. Yun. Or maybe hindi ka na maglo-lotion, N5 oil lang, but it, no, if you really have dry skin, hindi siya enough. Haba na intro, hindi na nakapag-explain. Okay, so this is the uh, Coco Mademoiselle. As you can see, it is very, very uh, lightweight or thin. To the point na parang oil ba yan, sure ka, kasi parang siyang water, and yes, this is my first comment about it, na parang Oil ba siya? Kasi it really looks like water. And whenever I apply it on my skin, it really feels lightweight. It doesn't feel like oil. Para siyang half water, half oil. I mean, compared to the other oils that I've tried, ganun talaga yung comment ko about it. And the scent. I mean, mabango naman yung N5, pero ito talaga mas ma naaamoy mo siya. So what's the difference of uh, Coco Mademoiselle and N5? Again, aside from the fact that this is more lightweight and this is uh, mas mabango, mas naaamoy ko yung, yung bango niya. Uh, as you can see, meron siyang spray, pero yung N5, uh, ano siya, open siya. So, may tendency na kakabahan ka lagi kung matatapon. Coco Mademoiselle doesn't have any glitter or additional, you know, mga parang achuchuchu for aesthetic. It's just oil.
and N5 has glitters. I believe La Beige as well. Yun, wala pa ako nun. Uh, kung tatanungin mo ako, ano yung mas gusto ko? I believe, kanya-kanya silang strength. Pero kahit once ko palang nagamit yung Coco Mademoiselle, mas paborito ko siya right now. Well, N5 is serving me or has served me for a long time already. I believe six months na siya or, or more. And I love that kahit na mahal siya, ang tagal ko naman siyang ginagamit. It is also mahal, but I think bigger naman si N5. So price-wise, I guess N5 is cheaper kahit na siya yung may glitter. But in terms of hydration, Coco Mademoiselle is better because I am actually not using it to hydrate my legs kasi nga it's not enough. I need something with vitamin B12 to actually hydrate my skin. So... I actually use uh, Chanel oils to uh, as a massage or to massage my body. And it's my husband who actually massages me. So, uh, pag N5 yung gamit niya, it is so heavy on my body na ang hirap-hirap um, galawin ng katawan. Hirap, hindi siya, parang it is too greasy, it's too thick na hindi ganun siya kaganda for massage. Whereas this oil is too lightweight na mag-aano agad. Yung baba, madaling... Uh, galawin or madaling hagurin yung katawan. That's why it's very, very relaxing. Once pa lang namin siya na talaga yung massage sa body and sobrang relaxing yun na talaga. Uh, plus talaga yung points na naaamoy ko siya and it's very, very relaxing. Guys, yung amoy niya is not parang ay N5 to, ay Coco Mademoiselle to, matabang to. No. Uh, think about Coco Mademoiselle and Chanel N5 version na pang spa. Ganun yung amoy niya. And right now, no, ang ganda pa rin ng lipstick. Ilang beses na tayo nag-upload. Nakita nyo, glossy pa rin siya. Makapal pa rin siya. And very, very nice pa rin yung color niya. Match dun sa filter na blush. Next product tayo. Next and last product na tayo for today. This is actually a nail oil. I had tons from Dior. And we will now try the one from Chanel. And they call it Chanel Luil Camellia. <laughs> Arte. Hydrating and fortifying oil for the nails. So, sabay-sabay natin i-try at tignan kung ano ang kanyang, ano ang ating magiging reaksyon sa kanya. This is how it looks like. I like the Dior one because it's small. It's it's really helpful for my nails, especially in removing my uh, cuticles. Nakalimutan pa yung tawag. And also, um, matitansi ako na malalim ako magkutkot. That's why it's really important for me to have a nail oil para hindi magsukat yung nails ko at para hindi magnana. So, it's, again, it has a C. Nakatawa naman. Right? So, it has an applicator. Let's try it out. Okay, I hope it works. So, ayan yung applicator. Ito yung nail. Oops. Ito yung texture. Ang hira pala ng ginagawa ko, dahi. Hindi ko ito napag-isipan. Napakabango niya. Kasing amoy niya yung mga lift products or probably the N5. Yeah, parang N5 nga ito na, ano, na hand cream. I'm gonna apply it on my other nails. At ikakalat natin to. Okay, comments. Uh, compared to Dior, uh, Chanel is less oily. Texture-wise, it is not, or it is lightweight. It is not heavy on the body or the nails. Ang konti lang ng kailangan mo at marami na siyang mapupuntahan. Isang pindot lang, nakalat ko na sa buong fingers, sa buong, sa 10 fingers ko. Whereas sa, sa Dior, I believe I need 2 to 3 kasi uh, the texture, Dior's nail oil texture is very, very thick to the point na it doesn't look or feel like the nails are actually absorbing the nutrients or the oil. This one, on the other hand, is very lightweight. So as you can see, talagang mafe-feel mo at makikita mo na talagang nahydrate na siya. Uh, in terms of Dior, kailangan talaga lahat punasan mo at, or lagyan mo or else hindi mo mararamdaman na nahydrate niya yung nails. So kudo, so far, I'm happy with it. Let's see sa mga tatating na araw. I'll update you guys. O diba? F na F. So I posted this photo last week and may mga nagtaka, akala ay nagpagupit ako, what did I do? And may mga napansin nga na difference. And I said, and as I promised, babalikan ko kayo with an answer. Ano nga ba ang nagbago? Um, yung gupit ko na yan, uh, yan naman na talaga ay ginugupit ko. Ganun na talaga yung uh, gupit ko sa buhok ko, sa sarili ko. Uh, 
every time naaalis. And hindi nga ganun kaganda yan eh. Kasi as you can see, ang layo ng pinanggagalingan ng banks. Ang kapal-kapal ng banks ko tuloy. And yes, ako pa rin yung nagugupit niyan. Yung parang pag ganito dito, nag-attempt ako mag-butterfly pero hindi naman kinaya. Pero ako naman din ang nagupit at nag-ayos ng lahat ng yan. So, ano ba talaga ang sikreto sa malabagong look na meron ako lately? No other than the L'Occitane products that I'm currently using. First is this L'Occitane Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Hindi ako sponsored, so bago kayo magalit siyan, hindi ako sponsored. As someone who has hypothyroidism and polycystic, it's very normal for me to have dry scalp and dandruff. In fact, you know, tawag natin doon dandruff, but other doctors are calling it dry scalp. Kasi technically, hindi siya talaga yung dandruff, but sinasabi nila na more like it's a skin condition or dry scalp kasi talaga caused by hypothyroidism. Then again, it's really, really still dandruff. And for months now, um, or years now actually, tinitiis ko lang na yung mga gamit kong dandruff shampoo is actually causing me acne on the face. Uh, sumula sa End Life Plus, ni naman yung dandruff shampoo, pero... It's also causing me acne on the face. Dove shampoo, clear shampoo, all of them. Tinitiis ko na lang kasi yun lang yung nag-relieve eh. Dun sa dandruff ko. So, ano pipiliin ko? Dandruff or pimple? Eh di, pimple na lang, ba? But then again, hindi ko na talaga siya kaya. Sabi ko, really have to find a way na. Kasi nasasayang yung ating pagsiskin care. Kung ang ending lang naman is nasisira ng shampoo yung mukha. Dahil sa nagkaka-pimple lagi. This is how it looks like. It's 300 ml. I believe it's around 1,400. Yes, mahal siya. Huwag niyo ako i-judge. But at least it works for me. Uh, what's the difference? Uh, I believe wala siya ng mga harmful chemicals. Wala siya ng mga sulfate, ganyan. Kaya nga, hindi siya mabula. Sabi rin dito, it's a soothing anti-dandruff shampoo. Cleanses the scalp and helps eliminate dry or oily dandruff while preventing it from coming back. Just so we understand, no? Dandruff kasi is not parang ay dry yung ano mo, yung scalp mo, or dry yung ano mo, yung hair mo, palamputi natin. Then, ganun na siya. Bumabalik din kasi talaga siya. Lalo na kung ang tendency, or again, may hypothyroidism ka, and the tendency is lagi ka magkakaroon ng dry skin or dry scalp. Mahal siya in a sense na wala siyang bigger na size kumpara sa iba. But it it really helped. Once lang ako nang hingi ng sample and natuwa ako na hindi not cost me any acne. And up until now, I think one week ko na siyang gamit or two weeks, hindi talaga siya nagkakos ng pimple sa akin. Um, I believe itong, hindi ko pa sure ha, pero feeling ko this will last me um 15 to 20 days. Let's see, sana makaya ko ng one month kasi ang mahal. Pero so far, it's really, it really brought, you know, a big difference to my hair and scalp because my hair became healthier Probably because my scalp became healthier. And the mere fact that I don't have any pimples. I mean, dito ako usually nagkaka-pimple. Ayan. Pag, um, pag, uh, what's this? Pag hair. Ang galing natin yung filter. Ayan, walang filter. Andito yung pimple ko. Ayan. Kasi may milya ako na pinap ko. Ayan. May maliit dito. But, I don't think it's caused by the, uh, dandruff shampoo. So, technically, Wala. Wala talaga ko. And ayan, try natin i-ganon-ganon kung may mahuhuli tayong dandruff. And kung no, dati yan, pag nasalita ako sa TikTok, may nalagat na dandruff. Kaya nga, nahihiya na rin talaga ako at ang decide na ako to look for a good anti-dandruff shampoo na hindi magkakas ng pimple sa akin. So far, I'm really happy that this anti-dandruff shampoo is working. Ever since it came into my life, my life changed from the scalp to the hair. Next product tayo, ito ang Loxiton Force and Volume, Volume and Strength Scalp Serum. To be honest, nag-usap na kami ng asawa ko na hindi na ako dapat nag, you know, nag-share ng mga products na paborito ko. Kasi medyo unfair. Kasi ang ending, ako yung nauubusan, hindi naman ako sponsored. Tapos, hindi naman din nice enough. Or, you know, syempre unahin nila yung benta, eh, Kung may nag naman, edi bibili nila ng marami. Ako yung nag-share, ako yung nauubusan. At isa yan sa mga dahilan kung bakit umalis ako ng Dior. Ah, dami ng sinika. But yeah, this is a scalp serum. Ganto na lang siya karami. Two weeks ko na siyang gamit. So, medyo malakas tayo sa kanya. Hindi ako sponsored ha. So, 
Ayan siya. Natanggalin mo yung kanyang takip. Oops, paano ba natanggal na takip na to? Ayan. Ayan. Isispray mo siya. Didivide mo muna yung head mo. Ayan. From here. And then here. Then here. Then sa batok. Ito sa may batok na area. Isisprayan mo siya at least once or twice. Tapos, um, ikakalat mo siya with a uh, massage technique na da, habang ikinakalat mo siya sa hair mo. So, why the massage technique? Always yan. Sa lahat ng nabibili ko na scalp serum, scalp conditioner, yeah, or any scalp or any hair serum, lagi yan kailangan may massage para maano, ma, ano nga ba yung tamang term doon? Para mas maano, ma, ma-activate yung serum or mas, mas, um, kumbaga parang binubuhay mo yung mga, yung patay na parte ng scalp mo. Oh, eh. It says here, it's for fine and fragile hair. It doesn't have any silicone, which is very great about Loxiton. Wala yan mga sulfate, wala siyang ganun. It's promising that hair is gonna be three times stronger. Hair is three times more resistant. Hair fiber is invigorated from the roots. And it's true. Nanyo. Mas makapal ang tubo, kahit pa paano. At every time I check my, uh, uh, rest room, pag naliligo ako, rest room, yung CR namin, hindi, hindi ganun karami yung book na nababawas kumpara noon. Sabi nga nila, healthier hair starts from a strong scalp. I love that it makes me feel refreshed, Mal- may malamig siyang feeling na parang minty, and at the same time, hindi siya oily or mabigat sa ulo. Natutulong nitong anti-frizz hair serum sa akin. So like what I said earlier, una, hindi mo na kailangan mag-blow dry kasi may galawa na siya or may itsura na siya na parang nag-blow dry ka na. Pangalawa, it makes your hair feel lighter and softer and smoother despite not using a conditioner. I'm not using a conditioner regularly, only pag-aalis kasi it's also causing me acne. I mean, may gamit din naman ako sa Loxetan before. It's around 2000. But now I'm using a Pantene collagen conditioner na bigay sa akin ng isang friend. And though it was really okay, it's really okay, um, I tend to have acne at times. And that is why, instead of buying L'Occitane uh, hair treatment, I'm using that one as an alternative. But then, I'm not using it every day just because iniiwasan din natin magka-pimple. And also, gustuhin ko man bumili ng treatment. Namili na lang ako. Ano ba mas gusto ko? Another treatment or serums na lang para talagang ano ba yung mas nagbibigay ng difference? And honestly, magkapareho lang yung nabibigay ng ng 2,000 worth na Loxitan at ng collagen na mumurahin lang, ng packing collagen na mar- mas affordable, yun lang talaga, nakakaroon ng pimple sa uh, Pantene collagen. And again, it's just me because of, you know, my hair and um, skin issues. But at the end of the day, mas pinili ko na lang kung saan ako mas magiging practical since meron na nga akong ginagamit ng dalawang serum for my scalp and for my hair. Also, what are the things that, that helps that um, helps me with nitong serum na to? Uh, at the same time, maliban sa pag-protect niya sa heat, um, every time I'm styling it, I love that it also makes my hair lighter. At hindi din, ako, dahil wala nang tangled hair, wala na rin matat- masasayang or uh, ano to, malalaglag na buho. It doesn't have any silicone and it's really making my hair feel lighter and better in terms of, you know, how I see it and how I feel whenever I comb my hair. It makes me feel extra beautiful. Maka naman kasi Miss Chaps, makapal talaga yung buhok mo. Nope, as you can see on this photo, manipas ang aking buhok, walang body because walang serum. Here's a photo I have using NLife Plus PH. As you can see, lumalabas yung pagka-wave ng buhok ko. Yes, parang nagkaroon siya ng body, pero manipis pa rin kumpara sa buhok ko ngayon. Last but not the least is another serum, which is a hair serum this time around. This is around 1,700. And it's a hair serum. It's an anti-frizz serum. Or is it anti-frizz? <laughs> serum and this is what i use on my hair every time or after taking a bath so supposedly gagamitin lang to pag nagplancha ka ng buhok or magkukulot ka to protect your hair from the heat heat protector kumbaga but then again for some reason because nga my hair is naturally you know matigas wait let me show you a picture of how i look like pag pinagpawisan na ako at uh hindi na ganun ka Basta, yung normal ko talaga na buhok pag pinagpumisa na ako. Ayan, as you can see, lumabas na yung pagkakulot ng buhok ko. Oo naman, at makapal pa rin siya. But, uh, makapal pa rin yung buhok ko, pero hindi na um, lumabas na yung pagkakulot, so hindi na siya straight na straight. 
And also, uh, ano ba tawag dito? Parang nawala na siya sa form niya. Kum- na kumpara sa, you know, nung nauna kong itsura. Ito ako, um, as soon as bumaba ako ng grab, as you can see, hindi na siya kasing lambot nung nandito ako sa bahay. Lumabas na rin yung kulot kasi sobrang pawis na pawis na ako. And um, grabe yung tagal ng pagkaantay namin doon sa grab rider. At the same time, sobrang init din dyan sa lugar na yan. Kaya um, grabe rin yung humidity at grabe yung init. Kaya naging ganyan na yung buho ko. And again, we're comparing it to this photo na picture ko nung hindi pa ako nainitan at nung nasa bahay pa ako. So, as you can see, um, in terms of frizz, nag-work naman siya nung una. Pero nung nainitan na talaga ako at hindi talaga kinaya ng katawan ko o nung buho ko yung init, may frizz pa rin siya, mabigat pa din siya, um, at lumabas din talaga yung floss ng buho. Pero anong naitulong nun? I think ang pinaka naitulong nun is yung fact na kahit na hindi ka na magplansya o magblower, ang ganda tingnan ng buho. Gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo ha, wala akong, hindi ako nagblower, hindi ako nagplansya. Uh, Dandruff shampoo lang ang gamit ko. Wala rin conditioner. And scalp serum lang kanina. And yet, parang papasa na siya na pwede ako lumabas anytime soon because my hair looks great already. And possibly, kung hindi mainit, hindi naman din uh, ganito yung kakalab... Hindi naman din ganun kapangit kanina yung kakalabasan ng buhok ko. Connect with me on Facebook, DM me on Instagram, or learn more about me on my blog, misinformation.blog. See ya!